Hello doctors and a very good morning. I hope you all are doing well. I had shared a case uh, on Instagram story uh, which the pointer to a remedy was the characteristic modality. That lady uh, told me that uh, the current cycle she is having, the current menstrual cycle she is having has lasted for more than 8, eight days or so and the previous cycle lasted for around 12 days uh, there is profuse bleeding if I, uh, I tried to uh, uh, elicit the character and consistency of the discharge whether it is offensive or not whether it is painful or painless whether it is bright red, bright red or it is dark like in English obviously uh, bright red and dark it's it's easy to say but if you if you say that in your mother tongue, we don't know the words for that. And we don't know the words uh, in patient's mother tongue also, whichever uh, is the mother tongue of the patient. So that is one of the difficulties in private practice. So the previous cycle lasted for around 12 days. Uh, the cycle before that one was normal. And this cycle, she came on the eighth day of uh, period, bleeding still going on, which was profuse. And... A characteristic modality she told me when I lift the child in my arms the menstrual flow begins again so what happens now modalities are indispensable in homeopathic practice we know uh, it is an essential element it is an indispensable element of complete symptom indispensable element of grand symptom uh, even Bonnie Hussein included circumstantial modalities and time modalities in his seven points so we so you can understand the importance of modalities even in the organ on particularly in the aphorisms 18 and 133 there are there may be other aphorisms also but in the aphorism 133 even the circumstantial but the circumstantial modalities are the importance of circumstantial modalities is explained uh, sometimes what happens now key we like try to dig in dig in dig in dig in but we don't get a single modality because uh, maybe uh, sometimes our case taking skills are lacking or the person doesn't observe the modalities because he doesn't know that these are important in homeopathic practice on the contrary sometimes it happens that the modality is so so prominent it is so so bothersome it increases the ailment to such an extent or it very markedly increases the ailment and hence the patient spontaneously tells the modality Sometimes you dig it, dig it, dig it, you can't find the modality. Sometimes the patient tells the modality very spontaneously, even without, even before we ask it. Or he tells, uh, or he or she tells the modality easily if we probe a little bit, even if a little bit probing is done. So she told me, when I lift the child in my arm, there is, there <coughs> is a menstrual flow. So this modality was a pointer. Uh, I immediately opened the Fartex repertory in my in my laptop. So only one remedy was given, that is Riozot. So I thought instead of prescribing only on this modality, though it is a singular Creosote in this modality, mens is aggravated by lifting. So I thought, uh, let's see, does it cover the protracted menses and the profuse menses and the copious menses also? So in the synthesis repertory, I saw that it covered both and she also told me one thing, she had a fall on back on uh, fall on back two days back and the back is aching since then. So uh, Creosote is also listed in one of the uh, listed as one of the remedies for injury. So I thought Creosote is most likely the symbolism. So I should give her this. So I should give her Creosote. I gave her Creosote 30 BD for two days and I took the follow-up after two days. She was more than 50% better. The next prescription, uh, Creosote 200 in very infrequent doses, in uh, divided doses. So, uh, this was an interesting case, a case of rapid prescribing, the importance of modalities. And uh, I had also shared, just as I told you that I had shared this case on Instagram. I received some inputs. Uh, a very a nice uh, 
uh, remedy would have been hamamelis. I did not think of hamamelis, but hamamelis uh, is perhaps the closest remedy that could have come to creosote. I received some other inputs such as crocus. Some of the uh, persons uh, correctly said creosote. So, so thumbs up for hamamelis and for creosote, but she was benefited by creosote. So this is a short video. Stay tuned for more stuff. Thank you so much.